Yeah. Is any men gonna come help me yet? I see someone looking. Fellas, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a provocative and timely topic. Delusional modern women shocked as men aren't helping them anymore. We'll explore the reasons behind this shift, the reactions, and the broader implications for modern relationships. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest discussions. Let's get started and uncover what's really going on. I'm here to say one more thing. Oh, goody. I just had to drag my AC out of my car to my apartment building. Three guys passed me. None of them offered to help. Why should they? Women are strong and independent. They can do everything on their own. None. None. Zero out of three. Why? Because you couldn't lift it? You were too scared to lift it? Is that why? Am I intimidating? Am I more masculine than you? Hmm. No, that's not what it is at all. But let's take a moment to think about how many women, thousands upon thousands of women, are saying every single day that in fact they don't need men. They don't need them at all. In fact, they're saying sometimes that the world would be better off without men. But apparently, some women still need men for grunt work. I should think that they would be grateful that men are finally listening to their wishes, ideas, and their feelings. But apparently not when it comes to lifting heavy objects. These women are just delusional. First off, never assume men are your servants to carry heavy loads automatically. If she had simply asked for help, perhaps one of them would have assisted her. Unfortunately, too many rude women have scared men away. So, we listen and keep our distance. That kind of attitude and those remarks are exactly what men are tired of hearing. You want men to act like men when it's convenient for you. Women have been saying they can do everything a man can do for decades. Now that men are saying, fine, do it yourself, they suddenly have an issue with it? Make it make sense. You want equality until it doesn't benefit you. Women have always been telling us that they don't need a man and that we shouldn't approach them anywhere. We have listened and taken it to heart not to ever cross your path. Most of the time, we don't know if offering help will be taken as a suggestion that you can't do it on your own or as us creeping on you. Women claim to be strong, entitled, and independent insisting they can handle everything on their own. So why do you suddenly want men to step in now? The grizzly bear is always available. After all, you women wanted your independence and wanted to be left alone. Now you're getting exactly what you asked for. Men have started practicing the art of don't look, don't touch, don't talk, and it's a result of all the invalidation and dismissing of men and who they are. The whole culture of men approaching women has changed but some people still expect men to step in and help random women. The double standard is glaringly obvious. Women have pushed for independence and equality, but when it suits them, they want to revert to traditional gender roles. This inconsistency is frustrating and confusing for men who are simply trying to navigate these mixed signals. Men have adapted to the new norms set by women. We respect your desire for independence and autonomy, but don't expect us to revert to traditional roles when it's convenient for you. We've listened to your demands and adjusted our behavior accordingly. Now, when men practice the art of keeping their distance and minding their own business, it's seen as a problem. It's time for women to understand that you can't have it both ways. If you want to be treated as equals, then you need to accept all the responsibilities and consequences that come with it. You can't cherry pick when you want men to step in and when you want to be independent. The inconsistency is not only unfair to men, but also undermines the very principles of equality you claim to stand for. In the end, men are simply reacting to the messages women have been sending for years. We respect your independence and your desire to be left alone. We've adapted to your demands, but now it's up to you to live with the consequences of those demands. If you want help, ask for it. If you want independence, own it. But don't blame men for doing exactly what you've been asking for all along. Is he here yet? Is any men gonna come help me yet? I see someone looking. These fucking peasants, men. You're all useless. You don't see a damsel in distress? Come help me. I know I look like a boy right now. This is also very embarrassing. Like, I'm, I'm giving myself the ick. This is gross. Me just standing here all helpless. Ugh. Disgusting. 
Where are the hot neighbors to help out a poor innocent girl? There's no way I'm getting this out. I don't know, but he thinks I'm hot. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. Nope. Oh, what does this do? I don't know. I'm so embarrassed. Can I just take the little knob off and like blow into it? And like it'll blow up my wheel? Guys, I figured it out. I had to take this little bobble off. Should come out now. Oh, yeah! Oh, wow, I'm such a fucking woman! Mm-hmm. Now I sit here and wait. I just can't believe no men have stopped. That's messed up. Hmm. I gotta start wearing cuter clothes. Where's my papa? Every girl is a feminist until they need something. Well, she just got what women have always asked for. Being equal to men. We're not allowed to stop and help anymore. We didn't make the rules, y'all did. Go ask the grizzly bear for help. You call us men useless but still want our help? This generation of women wants to say they hate men but still need them. That makes no sense, and a man still ended up helping you in the end. The problem is that these women want to treat all men like predators assuming we are all out to hurt them. Why even bother starting drama with men when you can be strong, independent women? To assume every man is a predator is silly. Women rant about how they don't need men, so men stop showing up. It's not a surprise. If a man can't change a tire, then he ain't a man, right? But when it comes to lifting heavy objects or doing hard work, suddenly, the cry for independence and equality stops. It's so damn funny. She had the audacity to call men useless, but then proceeded to rely on her dad to do the work. And you're questioning why men don't help you? You shame us but expect us to help? Are you kidding me? Women these days are delusional. They talk big about independence and equality, but then can't handle the consequences when men take a step back and let them handle things on their own. Men have been listening. We've heard the constant cries for independence and equality, so we step back and let you have it. But now, when you face the reality of what that means, you turn around and blame us for not helping. It doesn't work that way. You can't have your cake and eat it too. You can't demand equality and then expect traditional chivalry when it suits you. It's hypocritical and unfair. Men are not here to be at your beck and call, especially when you constantly degrade and belittle us. We are tired of the double standards and the unrealistic expectations. If you want to be treated as equals, then you need to act like it. Stop expecting special treatment just because it's convenient for you. Embrace the independence you so fiercely fought for and stop blaming men for stepping back when you demanded it. Women have created this environment with their incessant demands for independence and equality. Now, when men respect those demands, suddenly we are the bad guys. It's not fair to expect men to be traditional protectors and providers while simultaneously berating us for trying to do just that. You can't have it both ways. Either you want independence or you want traditional gender roles, but you can't switch back and forth whenever it suits you. So, to all the women out there who cry for independence but then complain when men don't step in to help, you made the rules and now you have to live with them. Men have adapted to what you asked for. We've stepped back and let you be independent. Now it's your turn to own it. If you want help, ask for it without the attitude and entitlement. Otherwise, don't be surprised when men continue to stay in their lanes, respecting your demands for independence. I am a girl in her early 20s, living by herself, and I'm so fucking single. And it's amazing for a lot of reasons, but I can never eat a jar of pickles. I've bought like five different jars, and I can't open it. And I've tried everything. Hot water... <laughs> like sticking a knife under there. <laughs> I need a man. <laughs> the amount of foods that I've had to not eat because I can't open it by myself. I need a big strong man. <laughs> I just want a pickle. <laughs> She's the problem here and probably a walking red flag. Have these women considered that nose rings were traditionally used on bulls to signify ownership? Maybe they want us men to start asking who owns them. 
these women might find the strong men they claim to seek right in their friend zone. It's ironic, isn't it? They loudly proclaim their strength and independence, insisting they don't need men. Yet, when the consequences of their rhetoric become reality, they suddenly can't handle it. They falter when men take a step back and let them handle things on their own. There are plenty of men out there willing to help and support, but they often find themselves relegated to the friend zone. Women talk big about independence and equality, yet seem unprepared for the responsibilities that come with it. They expect men to act like traditional protectors when it's convenient, while simultaneously demanding to be treated as equals. This duplicity is exhausting. Men have listened and respected women's demands for independence, stepping back as requested. Now, women need to face the reality of what that truly means. If you want to be treated equally, then embrace it fully. Don't expect men to swoop in and save the day while simultaneously belittling them for trying to help. The irony is striking. Women who claim to be strong and independent yet crumble when faced with actual independence. They reject men who are willing to be there for them, only to complain about a lack of support. It's time to stop putting the blame on men and start looking inward. The strength and independence you seek start with you. So, next time you feel the urge to complain about men not helping, remember. You wanted independence, you demanded equality, and now it's time to live up to those words. If you find yourself struggling, maybe it's time to reassess who you're putting in the friend zone. The support you're seeking might just be waiting there, sidelined by your own contradictory standards. I just want a man who just wakes up and says, what you doing today? You got plans tonight? All right. Well, I would love for you to accompany me and some dinner. I would love to take you out. What the? So hard about that. I don't think we're understanding as a generation that we're not no little kids anymore. That This is how you uh, link it up to just go do whatever is high school shit, college shit. Just let's go get this E and let's just walk around. We are grown. Some people we know have babies. Some people we know are married. Some people have their own place. Some people are doing big things. We are on our way to our 30s. We are nearing 25. And y'all just like, oh, you smoke? Oh, what you want to do? Oh, can you pull up? That's not dating. Y'all not kids. You're a grown man. Ask me out. What the fuck? Am I... We need to have... You all say this and then, when men act on it, you still play games. Women are losing the plot. They attract men, chads, who aren't genuinely interested in them. Here's the issue. You all don't want to go to the Cheesecake Factory, but expect us to take you to five-star restaurants. Given the current economic situation, why would a grown man spend his hard-earned money on a woman who may not even be interested in him? It's unreasonable. Women need to understand that mutual effort is crucial. If you're only chasing after men who aren't willing to invest in you emotionally or financially, you need to reassess your approach. Expecting men to go all out from the beginning sets a precedent that's hard to maintain, especially when there's no guarantee of reciprocity. Women have created this dynamic. You set unrealistic expectations and then complain when men don't meet them. You play games, expecting men to constantly prove their worth with extravagant gestures, yet offer nothing in return. This behavior drives men away. The reality is that men are adapting to modern dating's challenges. We see the games, the unrealistic expectations, and the financial pressures. It's only natural to be cautious and selective. Investing in someone who values the relationship and is willing to share the load makes more sense than chasing after superficial approval. Women who understand the importance of balance and mutual respect will find meaningful connections. Those who cling to outdated notions and expect men to cater to their every whim will continue to struggle. This shift isn't about men failing to step up. It's about women failing to recognize the need for mutual effort and realistic expectations. In the end, it's women who need to change. You created these rules, and now you're facing the consequences. Men are no longer willing to play by the old rules where we had to constantly prove our worth with extravagant gestures. Respect. Mutual interest and realistic expectations are the new standards. Only by adapting to these will women find genuine, lasting relationships free from games and unrealistic demands.
Where are the men? What happened? I don't know who's to blame. Men don't want to be men anymore. I, I feel like we're around a bunch of Peter Pan. <laughs> what happened to, to men and values and family taking care of their women and just being the man and the, and the protector? Men are no longer trying to be men because the things that made the men have been taken away, right? The, a man's purpose really came from when he had a family that he could provide for and a wife that loved him and kids that respected him and a family that he could raise. That was a man's purpose. And when society took all of that away from him and told the women, hey, send your kids to government schools. It's totally good for them. You go be a boss babe. It tore the family system apart. Fathers are no longer necessary in society. The government's taken that role. We have schools to send your children to, which indoctrinate them and turn them against parents. We have subsidized single motherhood in America where you know men can get women pregnant and if they can't coerce them into getting an abortion, which is murder, by the way, they could just leave because the state will take care of them and actually gives you more money than if you were to stay together, which has completely destroyed the nuclear family, for the record, the most successful family model that we've ever seen and ever will see because it's the one that God created. You see, men don't want to be around women who are going to belittle them. And so if everything in society is belittling them, then the ones who want to not be belittled aren't going to go where they're going to be made fun of. There's zero reason. If I told you every single day that you were a worthless piece of garbage, eventually you're going to stop hanging out with me because I'm not much fun to be around. You told us you didn't need us anymore. So we just said, okay, you win. Now, we're stepping away from dating and marriage. Men are sick and tired of getting divorced, losing our kids, losing our house, and losing our retirement. There is no benefit to getting married anymore. The men are gone. They all left. We have found ourselves relegated to the friend zone. So we've decided to leave and go to different countries to find someone with whom we can love and build a family. Who's to blame? Western women have been financially exploiting men for decades. Men don't even have any reproductive rights whatsoever. We're told to respect women's independence, to accept that they don't need us. So, we listened. Now, the dating scene is barren because we've decided to take a step back, leaving behind a system that offers us no benefits. It's not just about avoiding marriage. It's about preserving our well-being. The risks outweigh the rewards. We lose everything in a divorce. Our kids, our homes, our savings. Why should we invest in a system that's stacked against us? Western women have driven this change. They've taken advantage of men financially and emotionally for too long. They demand equality but balk at the idea of true partnership. Men are left with no rights over reproduction, no say in their futures. So, we're seeking relationships elsewhere, with women who value family and partnership. It's a simple decision driven by self preservation. We've adapted to the new landscape, finding love and stability where it's still valued. The blame lies with those who pushed us away. Western women, with their unrealistic demands and financial exploitation, have created this scenario. Now, we're simply responding to the environment they've fostered, finding happiness and security on our own terms.